Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome yet again to another episode of Lunch Guide. My name is Chef Andy and today we are going to be working on a beautiful beef tepanyaki. Uh, I'm probably just going to start by giving you a hint of what we're going to be working with today. So I have some salt, I have some chopped up ginger, I have some oyster sauce, some tepanyaki sauce and some sesame seeds. I have some uh, mushrooms there, I've got some olive oil. I've got some zucchini, I've got some beautiful spinach, some parsley fresh and some beef. Uh, without further ado, we're just going to jump into a short break. I urge you for this moment to just grab your pens and papers. And when we come back, we're going to go straight into the cooking. See you in a short while. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to be working on a beautiful beef tepanyaki dish as I mentioned earlier. Uh, for those who missed out on the introduction, I just introduced some of the ingredients we'll be working with which includes some soy sauce, some tepanyaki, some ginger, some salt, some sesame seeds, some beautiful spinach here, baby spinach, some zucchini and some parsley. So without further ado, we're just going to start by getting our pan on today. Right, uh, grab a bit of olive oil and we're just going to be gentle with this because we're going to be doing a bit of grilling on the pan today. So a nice general drizzle right through to the end. Remember we're using a griddle pan so this is going to really make a difference when it gives us the beautiful look. We're going to be looking some beautiful char marks so we're basically going to allow this to heat up a little bit for a bit of time. So I'm going to first start by slicing our beef and we're just going to be looking for some nice beautiful thick chunks. So I'm using sirloin steak, you're also welcome to use beef fillet steak, it's also a bit more expensive but it gives you an equally as good uh, beef tepanyaki as this will today. So as you can see, we've got some nice, beautiful, lean meat. Fat has been removed already. So I'm just going to finish slicing that up. Right, so you basically at this point want to give your pan a bit of time to cook. Remember, you're basically going to be searing your beef. So you just want to cook it really quick in a very short span of time. Right, so we have our nice beautiful pieces of beef there. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to put a bit of marination to this. And for that I'm going to be using a bit of our tepanyaki, a bit of our olive oil, a bit of our oyster sauce, a bit of our ginger and a bit of some salt. So I'm just going to add those to this small bowl here. Just going to go with the tepanyaki bit of about uh, one and a half tablespoons of oyster sauce, about a tablespoon of oil, and about a teaspoon of raw chopped ginger. So basically we're just going to give that a nice quick mixture. And now all we're going to do is we're gonna put our beef in our marination for a few seconds just while we let our pan heat up. Remember, you're also welcome to do this the night before. You can actually let your beef marinate overnight and cook it the day before. Or you can do it early morning and give it two to three hours in your fridge and it should be okay to go. So we're just gonna give that a nice toss. Make sure they're nicely coated all round. Right, so basically you want to give this a beautiful mix. You can always cover it also in some uh, fridge uh, 
some fridge bags and you can actually let it sit in your fridge. Alternatively, you can just cling film your bowl and just let that marinate. And as you can see, I've been generous with the sauce and I'm probably going to add a little bit more. Just a bit of that last bit of teriyaki sauce. All right, so our pan is nice and ready to go. It's nice and smoky, so I'm going to move you to this side of the screen now. All right, so for those who are just uh, joining us at the moment, we've just been slicing some beautiful sirloin beef here. We're just quickly marinating it in some teriyaki sauce, some oyster sauce, some ginger and some salt, and a bit of olive oil. All right, so this is ready to go on the pan. So remember, nice hot pan. And all you want to do is lay your strips of beef sitting or is, uh, diagonally. Remember, you want to get beautiful char grill marks. All right, so we're basically just going to lay them on the grill. We're going to be cooking them for about two minutes on each side. Right, so basically this has now been going for about half a minute. We're gonna give it about three more minutes and then turn them to the other side. I'm just going to finish laying those on our grill there. Right, so nice and uh, easy cooking process. You're basically going to give that about three minutes to cook on one side and then we're gonna turn it over. So basically we're gonna let those grill and then we're gonna take a short break and when we come back I'm going to show you the second bit of the finishing which is basically where we're gonna be frying some of the spinach, we're going to be doing some of the zucchini as well and some mushrooms in a pan and we're just gonna put that together and complete our dish. See you after the short break. ladies and gentlemen uh, for those who missed out on what we were doing before the commercial break we were just grilling some of the beef that we cut into strips earlier and now we're just basically going to do something else on this other pan on the side so I'm just going to move these around and now basically what we're going to do is we're gonna be frying the spinach so we're just going to be doing that on the pan on the side here so what you want to do is give your pan a bit of heat Make sure your oil is coated right around. And basically now we are going to be incorporating uh, a bit of our mushrooms, a bit of our garlic, and our spinach that's here on the side. So our pan is nice and hot. So I'm just going to go first with the garlic. Right, so basically what you want to do is give that just a bit of time to flavor your oil, just a bit of time to infuse. And then we just go in with our mushrooms. So this is about half a, uh, about 200 grams uh, worth of a packet of mushrooms. Uh, we just chop them up and basically we're just going to fry them a little bit on the pan. We're going to add just a little bit of oil just to make sure everything's all nicely covered up. Right, and we're just gonna give our pan a nice quick mix. And last but not least, just our spinach. So this we just broke straight from the stem, so these are not chopped. And all I'm going to do is sprinkle those around.
Right, so we're just gonna give that a bit of time. Just probably just a little bit more oil there, just to make sure it's not too dry. And we're gonna season that with just a tiny bit of salt. So just give that a quick mix. Remember, you don't want to overcook the spinach, you just want it to wilt just a little bit and infuse it with the flavors of the garlic and the mushrooms. So that's just about right. So first we're gonna take off the beef from the heat. So remember we seared this and we just dropped the heat on our grill slightly. So these are basically now been cooking between six and eight minutes. Remember you wanna serve them medium, you don't want them to be too tough. Right, so we're gonna just switch those two pans around. Give the spinach about another two minutes. And in the meantime, we're just going to take our beef off the grill. And I'll just show you now how we are going to do our zucchini. So our zucchini is nicely cut into chunks. Uh, we marinated it in the same seasoning we did with the beef, so which was the soy sauce, the teriyaki, uh, the oyster sauce, a bit of ginger and a bit of oil. So now all we're going to do is we're just going to grill this on the same pan. And this is just to give it a bit of color. Remember, you also want to serve your zucchini with a little bit of a bite and a little bit of a taste. And these we're just going to be giving them color on the inner side on the grill and then we're just going to turn them around and do the same on the back side. Right, we're just gonna give that a few seconds to cook. And while that continues, we're just going to take our spinach off the grill now. Right, that's beautifully nice and mixed. Right, so we're just going to go straight onto the plating of the dish. So we're gonna give the beef just a few seconds to cool off. Right, so remember in the pan that we're taking off the heat now, we just have a bit of mushroom, a bit of garlic, uh, and a bit of some uh, baby spinach. So this has just been lightly grilled on the pan. So I've got a nice beautiful color there, the aromas are lovely. So we're just going to move this onto our plate here. Remember you can choose to be as creative as you can be with the dish. Right, so we're just going to serve just a bit of a portion there. And uh, now we are going to just give these a turn and have a look and see what they look like. So remember, they're basically just getting a bit of some char marks on the, on the griddle here. And this is just for presentation purposes. And remember, you don't want to overcook them. You don't want them to be really soggy and mushy. Right, so we're just gonna give those one turn and we're gonna let those cook for about another four minutes and we're gonna take them off the griddle. All right, just gonna give that a few seconds to cook off and in the meantime we're going to start plating our beef which I'm just going to set on the side here. So this is a nice alternative to a lunch, uh, it does really well on its own. Uh, you could actually serve it the same way and have it as a substitute for a salad as well. So something very easy, something you can be able to make in the nick of time. And it's also a healthy option as well. You can also opt to have this with maybe some steamed rice or some mashed potatoes. I personally like to serve it just as it is with some grilled vegetables and some sautéed spinach. Right, so these are now nicely charred on the grill. Just gonna turn off our heat and all we are going to do now 
is move those onto our plate there. Right, so this is a nice and easy and affordable dish that you can be able to have as an alternative, especially if you are going through stages where maybe you're very athletic or you're just trying to really cut off the, the, the starches of your meal. This actually works as a very good alternative to that. Uh, it's an easy, it's a quick dish to make as well. And as I said, it's very cost effective. Most of the ingredients you can be able to find at the market. So we've been, we, uh, for those who are just tuning in, we've been working with a beautiful beef teriyaki dish. So from my studios and from yourselves, it's been a pleasure hosting the show today. Until the next show, have a lovely one. Mm -hmm.